Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. We start a new month, practically the month starts today. Lots of news. First, I will try to be very objective to cause as few doubts as possible. I can't help but talk about what you are doing for each other. Everything really is going well. You are free, you come and go as many days as you want, you donate energy when you want. So, everything is perfect. Those who need treatment are receiving treatment, is participating in the process. Everything is balancing, and most importantly, victories are happening. People are improving and that is very good. I just have to say to you, keep going. Not that these people who are being treated will not be healed, they will be, and are being healed, but precisely, the fact of curing one, it spreads and new people will arrive. So keep that pace, keep the donation, keep the orders. Don't worry, if one day there comes a time when there is no one inside the egregor. Don't worry, well know who to put in there. It will never be empty. So don't be worried about healing everyone who is here in the group, or the people who are treated by people in the group, and one day everyone will be healed, and the egregor will be empty. No, it will never stay, because we will know who to put in there. So this is a process of donation, and a lot of love for others. You are simply showing unconditional love, because you don't know who is there, you don't know what everyone there did. So there is no judgment, there is no prejudice, there is nothing. You simply give healing energy. This is unconditional love, and you are practicing it. You have no idea how good this is for each of you who is participating. You have no idea. It does not have. You think it's a simple donation, no, this is reverberating in the universe, in a very strong way. And I already said here, you will receive a return, because you are sending unconditional love to the universe, and it will return it to you in blessings, and in everything good that you need. Believe me. Nothing is out in the open, nothing is without purpose, nothing is without return. Everything has a return. To every action there is always a reaction. So everything you throw out into the universe, you get back. Throwing unconditional love to the universe is the certainty of receiving blessings and more blessings. It's like I said, not that you have to do this simply because you want to receive blessings, because then you won't receive anything, the donation of unconditional love is that without expecting anything, just donate. Then yes, the universe gives back. So let this be very clear in your mind, that you are simply being donors regardless of what will happen, regardless of what is there, but you are giving, unconditional love. Very good. Now, we can go back to talking about the new procedures. As I said, we have completed another cycle of procedures. Many people ask what to do with the cups, what to do with everything, you are very hasty. If nothing was said, it's because nothing was supposed to be done. So let's go. Today we are going to wrap up everything you were doing. All. Everything will be changed. So you can remove the water from the glasses, you can wash the glasses, clean them. So let's go, point by point. One you have two glasses, one on top of the wish list, and one glass on top of the notebook. The notebook continues. Keep putting names. No problem. Keep adding. The energy that is already there is already absorbed in that notebook. You don't need to do anything else. Just leave him where he is, where you have kept it to this day. Ah. Don't you need to add another glass of water? No, it doesn't need to, because it is already sufficiently impregnated with energy. There is already an egregor around him, and it will not be erased. So all you have to do is leave the notebook where it is. You can add new names, no problem. When adding new names, you don't need to do anything, 
because the egregore of light will already know what to do with each of the names that are there. Too many have asked, so I will reaffirm, if someone whose name is in the notebook dies, you have to remove the person's name from the notebook. Redo the sheet. Only that. 3. Regarding the wish list. You will burn this list. No, you burning will not burn the desires, on the contrary, you will be turning those desires into smoke, an energy that will go to the astral. Only that. So burn the paper and keep the cup. You don't need to throw it away. Keep the glass. For the rosemary cleaning procedure has been completed for a long time. Some continue doing it because they couldn't finish it. No problem. You can continue cleaning for as long as you need, but it is no longer part of the procedure. It will be good for your home, because it circulates energy, helps you to clean out what is no longer useful. 5. Very good. The walking procedure, which was the last one I went through, continues for the rest of your lives. Just because the procedure is over doesn't mean you're going to stop walking, quite the opposite, I hope you have acquired the habit, and seen how important it was to move your energies. Even if it's that little walk to the door and back. Many really don't have the means, but try to do it wherever they can. Don't give in. Don't assume that, I can't do it, and that's the end of it. This phrase, I can't, is a decree. Every time you say, I can't do it, you are decreeing to yourselves that you cannot do it, and what is the result? You really can't do it. So the decree has to be the opposite, I can do it. I will give my better. I will overcome the obstacles. I will improve. That's what you have to do. These are the decrees that you have to make. Very good. So we finish each and every procedure here. Ah, my archangel and whoever enters now. What will it be like? I'll talk about this later. So let's start the fourth cycle and the ninth procedure. What will this procedure be like? My brothers, I have been trying to work on some feelings in you, that's what I've been saying, there's always a second intention behind what I do. I have been working on some points with you, detachment, organization, awareness of only having what is necessary. Not that you can't have excess things, you can, but not everything, because you accumulate energy from things you don't use. So it's a learning experience, my brothers. It's a great learning experience. So this, ninth procedure, will be a little more complicated, a little more work. I have been trying to get you to change your perspectives, change your consciences. So we are going to work now, a very important feeling, which is solidarity. Here in this group, in this large group, we have people from all corners of the world. We have people from other countries, we have people from many cities here in this country, Brazil. Very good. Here I ask a question. What have you done for each other? Feeling sorry for the news that appears in your media is very easy, it is very simple. What action do you take in this regard? What action do you actually take? Feeling sorry, crying, being moved, does not solve the other person's problem. So what will this ninth procedure be? There will be no rule. I'm not going to say here what each of you will do. I want everyone to find, within their financial reality, within their life, within what is possible, a way to help others, a way of collaborating with others. Many of you know people who have needs, who need help, and they don't do anything about it. So you will always know someone. If you don't know anyone, there are many spaces, orphanages, elderly people's homes, sick homes. You have many ways you can help. But that's what I said, and I've already said it here, it's not just saying, how much do you need, take some money and donate. That's not what I want. I want involvement. I want the celebration of love. I want full solidarity. I will give an example here. 
An example. You go to an orphanage, reach those responsible, what do you need? Ah we need this, 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 and this. Very good. What can you do? Run a campaign, search with friends, and try to have what they need on hand. And then you form a collective effort and take what they need there. It's not donating money. I want involvement. I want you to see the joy of each child who will receive what they need, whether it's good food, a toy, clothes, whatever. I want involvement. I don't want something cold, to get there, take it, here you have so much, buy what you need. No no. This is complacency. This is transferring to someone else something that you don't want to have to deal with. Then you transfer it to him. Being supportive means participating, is to take a day and help. You can't donate anything, perfect, spend a day helping, spend a day taking care of it. Realize what they need there, do you have, do you have organization ideas? Give suggestions to help them organize themselves better, so they have more control. I want participation. So as I said at the beginning, this is a slightly more complicated procedure. Many won't do it. It's everyone's decision. I'm not here forcing anyone to do anything. I just say to you, you are on a great journey. That road that goes to the fifth dimension, and every procedure you do, that you go through with love, with goodwill, you pass a piece of that road. It's as if some doors are opening along this road, as you evolve. So this is one more point. Please do not interpret my attitude in relation to the date you will have next month, because for us in spirituality this date means nothing. Anything. Because it was all a great orchestration, which was done to create this date. The only question I ask is, do people who need it, only need it on this date? Do people who are hungry only eat on this date? I understand not. Whoever is hungry is hungry all year round. Whoever needs clothes, shoes, food on the table, needs them all year round. Not just at the end of the year. It has nothing to do with one thing or another. It is a procedure that you will do. And I would say the following, it doesn't have an end date, it may never end again, because many of you will adapt so well, you will enjoy doing it so much, that you will specialize in it in helping those in need, in getting involved in campaigns for those in need. Today, your internet makes this much easier. If everyone, with their group of friends, helps a place, think about how many people you will help. Think about it. Think about it. I just ask once again, don't just donate money. Then many will ask, ah, but what if the place is full of debt? can I donate the money and they can get out of debt? You pay the debt. So yes, I agree, that you tell them, give me what you have to pay. And you pay. Then you will be doing a good deed. Now don't give them the money to pay. Ah, but am I not invading their free will? No, it's your money, the money is yours. You do with it what you want, not what they want. Who is donating? and you. So you do with your money what you want. Don't transfer responsibility to them, because then you've just broken the entire process. They have debts, do you want to pay? Pay you. Perfect. Very good. My brothers, do not transfer the process that you have to carry out to others. It's not transferring to someone else. Ah, you need this so take the money and you can buy it. No, 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 you just passed the responsibility on to each other. You have to do it. Then that's it. It's very free, what each one will do, it's very free. Good. So the ninth procedure is over. Then you ask, and whoever is entering now, does what? Those who are entering now will only do the notebook and the sequence of thirty prayers, nothing else. If you want to take on the other procedures, 
cleaning with rosemary, forgiveness, walking, everything is there. All you have to do is keep your notebook and prayers. And now the ninth procedure. For others, if you don't do it, it's okay. So I think everything is very clear. You don't have to keep asking. Everyone does what they want. Ah, I don't feel like doing anything. Do not do. I'm not forcing you to do anything. Ah, I have difficulty. Very good. So don't do anything. Remember, that door will stay closed. Only that. Many who will have the procedure will walk through the door and you won't, because you don't want to do it. Then fine. It's your choice. This is the phrase, every choice has a consequence. Very good. So stay still. And once again I repeat, this has nothing to do with the end of the year that you celebrate. One thing has nothing to do with the other. At first, my brothers, this will be our last procedure. Next year, things will change a little. It's as if, no, I'll leave it as a surprise for you, I'm not going to say anything for now. But next year we will no longer have any procedures. There will be new steps. It's like small preparations, so that you become increasingly prepared for the right moment. Then there will be no more procedures, there will be certain tasks that each person will have to do. Next year you will know. It will be a much deeper preparation than you have had until now. So that's it my brothers. There are the guidelines. Today, as you can see, we won't have our class, as I've already spent a lot of time, and the prayer of the week will refer to exactly that. So let's go. My Archangel Michael. May you enlighten my thoughts, open my heart, eliminate my fears, increase my wisdom and make me ready to exercise solidarity with a brother. May I be able, with my every gesture of solidarity, to alleviate the hunger, to alleviate the cold, to alleviate a little of the suffering of each brother, that I can. May I learn that solidarity must be exercised at every moment, and not just on certain dates. Good, my brothers. So there it is. We start a new week, a new month, new procedure, and I don't think there's much doubt. Everyone will do what their heart tells them, whatever you can, because not everyone has the financial means to help others. But can't you take a day out of your week to help, give your physical strength? I think it can. You just have to want it. So each person will act in the way they think is most appropriate, in whatever way you find most convenient, and bring peace to your heart. There's no point in doing things, obliged, or reluctantly, because then it won't work. Much love in the heart is necessary for this action. So this is it. Do it this way, and we continue towards the fifth dimension. I am Archangel Michael. And I am here, always ready to guide you in the best way on this journey to the fifth dimension. It may be that for some I am just provoking some situations, but I know exactly every point I am making.